Okay, let's dive straight in. There's some really interesting news about the Houston Rockets. Oh yeah, what's happening with them? They're launching the NBA's first generative AI mascot, Clutchbot. It's set for fall 2025. Wow, okay. The first one, that's that's a pretty big step, isn't it? Yeah. Beyond just you know, a standard mascot. Exactly, and our mission today is really to unpack what this means, for fan engagement, obviously, but also the tech behind it. Right, we've got the announcement details and some info on Theta Labs, their tech partner for this. So Clutchbot, it's positioned as a digital version of Clutch the Bear, their physical mascot. Uh-huh, but the key thing is availability, right? Clutchbot's gonna be on the Rockets website like 24 seven. Always there, and being the absolute first in the league with this kind of AI mascot, that gives them a certain edge, I think. Oh, definitely. For PR, for showing their innovators, it sets a narrative. Let's get into the tech, because that's where it gets really interesting for me. It's not just some basic chatbot. No, not at all. This is generative AI. So you're looking at interactions that feel much more human, natural language. And the engine behind it is Theta Labs, their edge cloud platform. That's right. Data Edge Cloud. And what's cool there is it's a decentralized GPU infrastructure. Decentralized. So not relying on one single massive data center, it's spread out. Exactly. Think of it like a network of computers working together. Yeah. That brings potential benefits like um, better scalability if loads of fans jump on. And maybe cost savings too? Potentially, yeah. Hmm. Compared to building and maintaining huge central servers. They're calling it a hybrid cloud edge computing AI platform. What's the hybrid part mean in practice? Well, it likely means they're using the edge, those distributed computers for the quick stuff, like answer your question fast, low latency. Okay, so near real time responses. Yeah, and then the cloud part, the more centralized system is probably used for the heavy lifting, training the AI, managing mm -hmm. the whole system, sort of getting the best of both worlds. Makes sense. So for the fans, what can you actually do with Clutchbot? Its core job is to be an information hub a real-time one. Trained on what kind of data? All things Rockets and NBA, basically. Think schedules, ticket info, player stats, lineups, recent news, even team history, a huge data set. So you could just ask it like, when's the next home game? Or how did Alper and Shangun do last night? Precisely. You ask in plain English, and it should pull the latest info, likely tapping into the Rockets' own database and maybe the NBA's API in real time. That's much more direct than hunting around the website. For sure. And accessibility is a key website, maybe the app eventually. It reaches fans anywhere. The Rockets president of business operations mentioned wanting a more personalized and engaging fan experience. Yeah, and real-time answers. That quote hints it might go beyond just Q&A later on, maybe more interactive features. Okay, let's zoom out. Strategically, what's the payoff here? 